Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Sturf here. All right, this will be a little bit of a different clip or whatnot, but BenQ was nice enough to send me a screen bar e-reading lamp, so I'm going to prop that up on top of this monitor here, and I am going to give you an honest review. I'm going to let it sit for a few days, see what uses I can get out of it, where it would be good, where it might fall short, that type of thing, okay? But again, thank you, BenQ. Basically, everyone send me your free stuff and, like, gear yeah <laughs> i don't know all right well this is really easy to set up the most time consuming thing was peeling off the film all right all right so it's usb powered one of the biggest things on the use menu is that uh, you don't have to have desk space for you know a lamp stand so you just clip it on the back of your monitor it actually works pretty well i'd imagine this would be pretty good for a curved monitor as well so there's minimal point of contact there but stays put that's one good thing um, let me plug this in so usb 3.0 and you see use number one that is not on the spec sheet you can tell if your monitor is dirty and i could see this being a really useful tool when you clean your monitor so you're sure that your monitor is clean once you've lit it up <laughs> one of the advertised things is it doesn't uh, it does not add glare to your screen if i tap or if I hold my finger on this, you can adjust the brightness and you see, let's, uh, let's actually tap because it gets one little thing darker and then now it's brightening, now it's dimming. So it goes on a continuum there, but at its max, I think it's about 500 lux. Another use that is not on here on the spec sheet, um, mouse cursor no um is you can tell where you have bad usb ports because here let's uh let's turn this off actually no, no let's 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 leave it on um because it remembers it remembers the state that it's in so i'm going to unplug this and i've always had two bad ports on this case i probably just set it up badly when i set up the computer initially three years back but um let's plug it in here and you can see here look at this so plugged in now okay that is working. What the heck? What the heck? It's working. Okay, hold on. So let's try the other port. Let's try the fourth port. It's working. What? All right, let's turn up the brightness. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so it was a brightness level. And now it's like, yeah, you don't have enough power. That's what usually happens. But I guess at a, at a, um, at a dimmer level, you can actually hold that. But it was running at a, a lower voltage probably. Um, now let's put it back on here. My USB three port is definitely set up well, uh, providing enough power. So it, it shows you which ports don't supply full five volt power. It can work as well with, um, just a normal one of these, uh, one of the, uh, wall charger. Hold on one second. High quality review. All right. It's back and it's plugged in here. <laughs> so anyway, the box is useful. It shows you instructions of setup. Um, also tells you that you do need five volt output and at least one amp supplied. And yeah, pretty cool. One thing you might note too is all of my monitor decisions, because BenQ makes really good monitors, but all my monitor decisions have been for Asus is how you pronounce it according to Asus employees. And that's hard to say because I always said Asus but it's Asus, and it's supposed to be the end of Pegasus. But anyway, if Benki wants to supply me some monitors to test out and compare with, with Asus, and they have a, a flagship line or whatever, I wouldn't mind them sending that too, you know? <laughs> um, so, okay, the screen bar, uh, it does light up the desk well. It does not have a footprint. Um, let, me, let me think if I'm missing anything else. Uh, yeah, yeah, one thing that could be added is Maybe it may be a slightly better webcam perch. Like maybe even like a little a little notch or something where you can you can uh, your drape your webcam and all that because everyone everyone and their grandma is streaming now, and that would be another good use for it. I guess I could try like there, but it's not gonna. Yeah, it's it's angled that way, so it's probably not gonna not gonna work all that well with that. Um, but if there was some kind of like webcam perch, that might be a benefit as well. Um, the color range is good. Uh, the Lux output is fine. I mean, with my um, with my lights off, let's actually do that here. So that that's all lights off right now. 
Um, that lights it up pretty well. And if I shut off this monitor here, then yeah, I mean, it's it's got a lot of really good use. So this is this is just a wipe down, just to get the dust off a little bit, you know. And I know I'm not doing a great job here, but it looks a whole lot better, and you can tell really quickly. All right, uh, another use that maybe that's just maybe it's just more of a me thing, but I'm horrible at setting up colors on my screen. But if there was some kind of Pantone sensor or some some plug-in that you could have for BenQ monitors where you'd have power supplied, as well as an option to auto configure the color, like the uh, or, or you know with with a given default setting, so you have the right color on your monitor, that would be phenomenal. So add a Pantone sensor to it where it kind of looks diagonally down, and then uh, can set up your monitor. Um, that would be really sweet. And if you put that with BenQ monitors only or you know, have some proprietary technology that um, adjust monitors only with that capability. That would be pretty cool. Um, that could be something to add as well. Okay, one recommendation I have for the touch buttons up top is that if there were either like a physical uh, slider or dial, that would probably be a help. Or if there were an app that you could download and then interface with this and you have different sliders on your app, of you know color temperature luminosity um you could monitor the the power you could auto configure your screen colors if you have that pantone edition or whatever i don't know um just stuff like that that would be a better uh i think more reliable thing i haven't had much of a problem with this but sometimes i feel like it's not really picking up uh everything all the time maybe it's working right now pretty well you see that i'm just Holding the sensor, is it adjusting anymore though? Yeah, that's the thing, like, I don't know. So like a dial or an app with a lot of sliders on it, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, after I cleaned off my monitor, it's actually really nice. Lights up the desk, see everything really clearly. Now without it, let's see it. I mean, It's pretty solid. What you think? Also, the color temperature is another thing right here you can configure. Let me make sure I'm hitting the actual button. Oh, <laughs> what did I just do? I hit the auto button. <laughs> you can auto configure it too. Hit that with my pinky on the way there. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So this goes from 2700 Kelvin to I think 6500 Kelvin in terms of the. Uh, the light temperature, so that's more in the 2700 range, and then it's going to brighten up and really blue. Now, yeah, woo, not quite the range. And I'm just holding my, I hold my finger on it the first time through, and then it goes all the way to that, that end of the range. Then I press it again, and all that. You can tap it just a little bit, so if I tap, 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 tap. So it gets progressively different. It'd be nice to have, again, like with with an app or something like that, a readout in terms of the actual current color temperature on here. That might be nice. Oh, wow, he got all perfect. Oh man, he was juggling. Oh snap, that's crazy. All right, um, but let me turn off the, the auto adjust there too. So in terms of a price point, it's currently retailing for $99.99. And again, BenQ, thank you so much for sending this to me. And I hope you like this review. Um, I could see this flying off shelves at the price point of about $59.99. Or if you added some other features or had a package deal with your monitors, that would be kind of cool. Um, you get that price down a little bit that way. And of course, I don't know the cost of the R&D behind this all. It is a very useful thing. It's just, I don't know. I, I usually think maybe, maybe a few hundred bucks on a monitor. Um, and an accessory, you know, anywhere from the 50 to $60 range I might consider. Um, so that's uh, my suggestion on a price point for that. Um, if you add other features, you could, you could certainly get that price point up for sure. Um, like if you had a, a dial or an app or say Pantone detection, that, that would be really cool to me. Like make it just an overall monitor utility that you can't live without, you know, something that really enhances your experience even like cleaning the monitor that's that's one thing that's great but you know configuring colors and that type of thing would be phenomenal but that would be a powerhouse product that i'd really be interested in um this is really cool and so i, I do recommend it 
but at the same time, like I would probably wait for a slight sale on it to to get something like this. Um, but it, it does it does its job, you know. It's it's pretty cool. So um, anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Peace, God bless you. I want to review some other stuff, and um, I'll intersperse th these videos, these review videos, with my other videos, and uh, yeah, especially stuff that I really really like and want you all to know about. So um, we're talking about like scotch titanium nonstick scissors um also i got to review the zero speed uh speed force is that yeah the zero speed force i got to try that out um anyway some more on some more down the line but anyway the ben q screen bar e-reading lamp by ben q again thank you so much ben q for sending this and um i hope you enjoyed the review everyone you can check this out. I think Amazon is probably your best bet. Or you can just go to BenQ's website. It'd have more information on it and retailers. So, all right, that's it. Thank you, everyone, and I'll check you next time. Peace! As a point guard, what a tremendous advantage. <laughs>